I'm very proud and excited to announce John Calipari has agreed to become the men's basketball coach at the University of Kentucky. But to come here and have an opportunity to add to the wall, can you imagine they don't put banners up here for anything else except national champions? It's been a long in your hands. Well, it's kind of heavy. Let me thank Dr. Todd and Mitch for giving me this opportunity to coach the Commonwealth's team. I'm humbled, yet I'm excited about leading this storied program. This is pretty heady stuff for me, but this was a dream I had since we brought our team down here, and I believe it was 1992. We had won the Alaska shootout, came down here to play, and I could not believe the environment. And at that point, I said, I'd love to coach there someday. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way. I'm going to ask you guys to all come up here with me. Began. Marcus, the Marcus cousin, you be the first guy. Come on, let's go, everybody up here. Come on. This is from Kentucky, Memphis, and Massachusetts. And I'm coaching. Let's go. Move, Harper Williams. Why do you get your picture everywhere? I don't understand it. Come on, guys. Brian Long, you're still slow. Let's go. Now, I've got, as they're walking up here, let me thank their parents. Hey, Curtis. Let me thank their parents who had faith in me. And you're talking about parents that sacrifice for their children. And they entrusted me with their sons, and I want to thank them for believing in me and our staff. All right, now I want you to know this one. I want the players, please listen. Raise your hand if I held you back. <laughs> now, I, without looking, DeMarcus Cousins has two hands up. <laughs> Every player I've ever coached says I held them back. I hope you guys all understand it was because everyone had to eat. You sacrificed for your brothers, and in turn, we won a lot of ball games and won a lot of championships. Now, to the UMass guys, I want to apologize in front of the world. When I got started as a head coach, I was 29 years old. I had no idea what I was doing. I was trying to figure it out on the run, and I was a little mean. Probably not a <laughs> probably not a great combination, I know. But I want to tell you, they all overcame me, and you guys took that program from where it was to the pinnacle, to the number one program in the country. You took UMass from the bottom to five league championships, to an elite eight, a final four, and you guys did that in spite of me. For the Memphis guys, you all thought I was crazy. Even Derrick Rose, who early in his freshman year called his boys in Chicago and said, I think I'm playing for the devil. <laughs> we were all crazy, but what made us crazy, what drove us was the lack of respect. We were a great program and a terrific team, but the pundits said we couldn't do certain things. They said we couldn't be number one team in the country, and we got there. League championships, a Final Four, and the championship game in 2008. And if I'd have called that timeout, we'd have won that game. <laughs> to you Kentucky players, you can give it to them. You guys look at me and say, he pushes me, he challenges me, he notices everything, he never lets up. But you want to talk to the UMass and Memphis players and they'll swear that I've mellowed and I've gotten soft. And they'll tell you, you could have never played for the young me. 
I think they're embellishing, but I have so much respect for these Kentucky kids because the way they performed under the greatest of expectations and the brightest of lights. A lot of players run from this. You guys were inspired by it. While you were here, you went to Final Fours. You won numerous league championships, became the number one team in the country multiple times, and won the national title in 2012. Congratulations to your run. your way in the vibe is feeling strong and was small turned to a friendship a friendship turned to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're going to be with me for the last one. You are your brother's keeper. If you want to succeed in Kentucky, you will succeed as a team. You play more for your teammates than yourself. And every road you take will always lead you. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began First of all, you have great kids who trust what you're doing And let me say this, and so do their families